Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How attractive are you? Ooh, how attractive are you? <laughs> it's got nothing to do with looks, yo. Well, maybe a little bit. No, doesn't have to do with looks at all. How's it going, folks? Come on in. Keeping it super short because I have kind of a short walk. Uh, should I should I extend this one? Should I go for a little longer walk? It's so beautiful. Days like today that I just I bask, I bask in my freedom. We're going to talk about how attractive you are today. How to become attractive has nothing to do with looks. I got to add that all the time because it does not have to do with looks. What I'm talking about, I mean, yes, you can be attractive without a uh, short way, long way, medium way. How about that? Just trying to time how long this topic will take. Um, shouldn't take too long. I'm going to teach you today how to become attractive without having to be attractive. <laughs> how to become attractive to strangers. Yeah, pretty much, without having to be physically good-looking, okay? And if you are good-looking, well, then you don't even need to know this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course you do. It'll help you in sales. It'll help you in everything. So, you ready? Coming from me, <clears throat> I am credible, folks, because I've learned, huh, I've learned Am I that attractive that people are pulling over to say hello? I thought it was a cruiser. <laughs> that was my first, that was my first, uh, first instinct. Okay, let's go. How do you become attractive? Um, attract attractive means when you see a stranger with very few words, they're interested in you. Pretty powerful stuff. And... I have techniques that I'm going to teach you because I do not work as a model in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> so if I was, if I was like attractive, if I was like good looking or like super good looking, I'm average. I know it's, it's all good. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm very good with it. I'm very grateful for the looks that I do have. But my point is I'm not like a super attractive guy. So I can speak on this. Because I have the ability to attract people to me. Not only, I'm not talking about online, I'm talking about in real life. Just happened this morning when I went to the gym with a girl walking her dogs that I've never met before. She must have just moved in. Uh, got a lot out of her actually, just naturally. She's Australian, she's studying law and she's single she let me know about that so let's let's get into this first of all first thing i do when i see a stranger if i if i feel like conversing in some way shape or form i do the eyebrow thing <laughs> the eyebrow thing some people don't want to be approached some people don't want to talk some people don't want to converse so i have a, a qualification process that i go through the eyebrow like this, just eyebrows like, that's it. Like, hey, what's up? So it's a, it's a light, it's a light nudge. It's just a light, light nudge to see if they're open to doing the eyebrows back or smiling. Quite often it will trigger the first hello. If it doesn't, then I give a smile without teeth. That's the next, the next step. If there's some kind of acknowledgement with the eyebrows, I go, to, if there's not, then I stop, obviously. Ob obvi. Not like this, by the way. It's not like, it's like one of those. I'm talking about what works for me. I don't think this is researched. No, I, I didn't research this. This is just through trial and error over the years, I guess. And then from there, I do a smile, like, just like that, just, not cheesy, not like. <laughs> and then from there, I say hello. So once I do that, 
if we're at the hello, if we're at the first base, if we're at the hello phase, well then, from there I have to do a combination of things. And it's a question, it's questions, but they have to be very light, a light, light question mixed with a unobvious compliment. So I'll give you an example. Well, it's, it, it depends on the situation you're in or what they're doing or what... Uh, uh, this girl had a bunch of tattoos. So I just commented on the incredible depth of the artwork. That's pretty crazy stuff. Did you get those done in Australia or are they done here? So that's, start, that's a compliment mixed with a question. Does that make sense? Because people do not have... People don't show interest to other people too often. So because you got by the barrier of the eyebrow test, the smile with no teeth test, and the, uh, the physical vocal hello, now you can get into, a little, get into it a little deeper, which is questions mixed with some compliments. Pretty well, that, pretty, that's it. So here's how this works. Depending on how far you want to get with the person, you do more of that. Because people in general are not interested in anything but themselves. So when someone is interested in you, and they're sincerely interested, and be sincerely inter interested, that's how this goes. You just do it over, and that's how it goes for me anyways. Believe me, for an average looking guy, the quality of people I can attract to me, like it's, that's why, because I'm showing interest. And then after one or two of those, then you can show a little bit of teeth. And I don't mean like, I mean like, just a regular smile. And once you're showing teeth, if they're showing teeth, <laughs> showing teeth, if you're doing that in a conversational basis, whoo, you could get fired with someone in a very short amount of time. Uh, quite often, they're gonna ask how they could connect with you. They may even ask for your number. They may ask if you come here often. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to attract, you just keep doing this until they take some kind of action if you want to continue. But I'll tell you something, you don't need to, it, there doesn't need to be a goal in, there doesn't need to be a goal in, an end result in mind. Actually, most of the time there is no end result in mind. It's just, practice it's practice and it's fun and it makes life more blissful to be able to talk to people <laughs> and be and have them like you so that's basically that's it that's it try it out start out with the eyebrow test and move on to the smile the, the, I wouldn't say smirk I wouldn't say grin it's a smile without teeth and then observe on something you could possibly compliment them by and sh ask them a question by showing interest. And at all of these phases, this whole thing could get shut down. But odds are, no, 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 no. It gets shut down in the beginning or at the next level. It may get shut down at the eyebrows. It may get shut down at the smile without teeth. It may <laughs> smile without teeth. It may get shut down at the question. So, you ha some people will say, well, if you're asking them a question too soon, isn't that in intrusive? Well, there comes a point where you have to break the ice or speak. So, no, it's fine. If it's not fine, no problem. It's not, it's not do or die here. You don't need to talk to this girl or this person or this anyone. And I do that for everyone. Well, not everyone. Is, uh, what I'm saying is that it's not about girls is what I'm saying. That just happens to be who came in the elevator. And for the record, in an, uh, probably a 17-floor elevator ride, I had someone completely interested in who I am, which is super powerful. It's kind of like an elevator pitch. Actually, it's quite literally an elevator pitch. And again, I had no intention in... It's not because it was a girl. It was because it was just a person in the elevator. And it's become my, my natural state. As a matter of fact, right before I got on this live, on the way down the elevator, 
There's a guy with some boards, an older fella, uh, Mike Kelly, I think that was his name. He just introduced himself. Um, he looked very grumpy. He was going down in the elevator with like wood boards. And we have a woodworking shop downstairs, like on the, in B1. And I said, uh, I did the eyebrow test. He, he, he kind of did it back, but it was kind of a little cold. So then I did the smirk and he did that back. Like the little the smirk, the no tooth smile, the the toothless smile, and then uh, sure enough, I asked him the question. He said yes, and I told him how I it was one of my favorite classes in high school. It was worked woodworking. He was working on some shelving unit. Then we got into talking, and he said he just moved in. And I said, uh, oh, fantastic! I go, and then I I went to the point where because you can make a you can make a move right make a move, you know what I mean? I'm not making a move with a 70-year-old man here. You can make a move. There is a time where you do make a move, if you want to make a move. So with him, I just introduced myself because the elevator ride was down. A lot of stories in that elevator, I tell you. Okay, we're going to the, uh, we're gonna go to our destination now. I'm going to wrap it up. I can't believe I rambled on about that for almost 12 minutes. <laughs> so... That uh, then I extended my hand. I said, "Oh, by the way, my name's Mark." And he said, "Nice to meet you, Mark." Always ask for their name back because sometimes they'll they're not used to having people introduce themselves and give them compliments and showing interest and in what they're interested in and having something in common with them. That's when was the last time a stranger did that to you? Think about it. Not very often. And if a stranger did do that, would you remember it? Absolutely, you would. So. I asked him his name. Not only did he give me his first name, he gave me his, both his names. And I go, fantastic, I'll see you around. He goes, oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Mark. So there you go. That's what I got for you today. How to approach a strange, no, how to, how to become acc- attractive when you are not physically attractive. Well, I know I'm saying ugly, but when you're not, when you ain't no supermodel. Okay, guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on social media. Destination reached.